What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about why I haven't pre-ordered Modern Warfare yet and why you shouldn't either. Now I'm using Modern Warfare as a scapegoat, but everything that I'm going to talk about in this video actually applies to any AAA title that you are thinking about pre-ordering starting now and forever into the future. I've talked about this topic before on this channel, but I don't think anybody has really caught on or understood what pre-orders actually are anymore. So let's put on our tin foil hats and do a little bit of conspiracy theory crafting and talk a little bit about what the modern day pre-order scheme looks like. Now, before I jump into the five bullet points that I want to talk about in this video, I just want to remind you guys that the best way to support my YouTube channel is by subscribing, turning on my notifications, liking the video and following me on all of my social media links in the description below all of those things are free and take a fraction of a second now in order to talk about how pre-orders have evolved over time in the video game industry we have to talk about why pre-orders exist in the first place and originally they existed for the same reason that pre-orders exist in any other industry you can pre-order uh, iPhones you can pre-order Tesla's you can pre-order all sorts of different products uh, and video games were, were were something that you could pre-order as well for a similar reason and that reason being being a limited availability at launch I would say back in the late 90s and maybe even up through the early 2000s uh, it wouldn't be guaranteed that you would get a copy of your new favorite game if you didn't pre-order it in advance and you know with the rise of digital media this problem has gone away but back in the day uh, if you wanted to get let's say the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker for the GameCube there was no way to download that game on launch day your only option would be to go and purchase this game from a GameStop or a Walmart or something like that uh, and if you didn't pre-order it the odds are that you know since everybody had no choice but to buy the physical copy you might not be guaranteed getting that game on launch day uh, and you know a lot of our favorite favorite franchises in video games right now kind of started in the you know the 90s and the early 2000s and these franchises you know because they were just beginning they weren't the massive you know sales juggernaut that they are today and because of that the companies producing these and manufacturing these titles would actually be a bit more conservative with how many copies of the game they produce because they didn't actually know how successful these uh, these you know ips would be especially things like call of duty you know back when call of duty first started they didn't anticipate the game being what it is today so they wouldn't ship a astronomical amount of copies to every game stop on the planet uh you know they would ship a a modest amount and hope that they sell out that way they can produce more and ship more to the store so with that being said you know the the, the spawn of pre-ordering was just saying hey i'm ready to pay for the game right now in hopes that you will hold that copy for me for when launch day comes i'm going i'm going to get it guaranteed that's why pre-order started but as i mentioned before this is no longer an issue because tons of people are purchasing digital these days everybody you know there's there's a rise and this is one of the reasons why GameStop is failing right now uh, because more and more people are deciding to purchase their games digitally and if you're buying digital there is no constraints on supply anybody can download that game as long as they pay for it in advance or pay for it whenever they feel like buying it essentially so even if you wanted the game on launch day and for some reason your local game store didn't have it on launch day which they will uh you can still just download it from your directly from the playstation network or xbox live or whatever the case is so there's no longer the worry of not being able to play that game on launch day so if we no longer need pre-orders to guarantee availability on day one why do pre-orders still exist why would you even pre-order a game right there's no reason to really do it well the marketing department and sales department at these giant corporations have realized that the initial pre-order numbers are a good indicator of how successful 
the game is going to be upon launch. Really, the pre-order numbers are a metric that the marketing department can use to gauge how effectively their marketing campaigns are reaching their audience. So for example, if Call of Duty uh, has, you know, X amount of pre-orders after, you know, they, they announce the game, all the initial pre-orders come through because everybody wants the game, they're excited. And then the hype for the game kind of dies down because everyone goes back to Fortnite and we're still a few months away from it coming out, etc. Uh, and then they release a new commercial that airs on YouTube in front of all of these gaming videos, right? Then they can see, you know, okay, how many pre-orders went up based on that in the introduction of that commercial into the ecosystem and they can gauge the community reaction they can gauge the community excitement levels based on the number of pre-orders so for the game developers pre-orders are actually a really great way of them understanding uh if their if their game is getting the hype that they hope that it will get uh and so what they have to do is provide an incentive for people to continue to pre-order because like I said the original incentive was that you were guaranteed a copy on day one but that's no longer an issue so instead what they do is they've developed systems and methods of getting people uh, to pre-order for other reasons for external reasons uh, for you know for example you could pre-order and you get a day one edition of the game or you get a free skin for the game or a, a unique gun camo or you know you get double XP for two hours of gameplay or something like that uh, there's always some little gimmick uh, some little you know goody that they will give you for free if you pre-order the game in advance uh, and, and so instead of there being a legitimate reason to want to pre-order now there are artificial manufactured reasons for you to pre-order and these things that they give you on launch day actually have no value which is one of the other bullet points that i want to talk about but i'll save that for a couple of minutes so you're probably thinking okay that is all well and good but why would i not want to pre-order a game that i know that i'm going to purchase on day one anyway if i'm going to get a free gift for doing so it doesn't make any sense obviously i would want to do that well the reason why i would recommend not pre-ordering modern warfare or any other AAA title is because the game developers are tracking like i said those pre-order numbers and what those pre-order numbers are telling them is that it is likely that this many people are going to purchase the the game on day one if you pre-order a game you are exponentially more likely to actually go through with that purchase and 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 play the game on day one right like they know that you've already invested your money into that game so you're way more likely to play that game on day one than if you don't pre-order and just decide okay i'll just pick the game up that day since they've gotten you to already invest your money in the game before it even comes out they have a good idea of how many active players they're going to have on launch weekend and for the foreseeable future and the sooner that activision knows how many players they're going to have at launch the sooner they are going to implement microtransactions because the larger the number that they see uh in the pre-order system the more people they know they can sell microtransactions to so for you know just for argument's sake if nobody pre-ordered the game they would have no idea of how successful the game would be and they would be you know basically everything would be on pause until launch weekend they wouldn't even be developing they would just be like okay let's like let's get the the framework ready for microtransactions but we're not going to do anything until we see you know if this game's going to be a flop or not because they don't want to invest their time and resources and money into a game if they don't know if it's going to do well but because everybody's pre-ordering the game they already have that expe expectation in their mind that not only are all the pre-orders most likely going to play but everybody else who hasn't pre-ordered for whatever reason is probably going to um, purchase it as well so the initial sales of the game are going to be the pre-orders plus the random people who haven't pre-ordered um, whereas if nobody pre-ordered the game they would just not really know how many people are, are going to get it and again these are the numbers that they are using to gauge how quickly can they implement microtransactions because if the pre-order numbers and the sales numbers are explosive before the game even comes out then they know okay we need to capitalize on this right away before these players fall off before they get disinterested in the franchise like we need to capitalize right away whereas if the number was unknown to them they would be like okay well let's get ready for these microtransactions but we don't want to invest too heavily just yet
yet because we don't know if the game is going to flop so i, I i'm hoping i'm explaining this correctly and you guys are understanding that by not pre-ordering the game you're actually keeping activision in the dark and not really knowing how successful the game is going to be at launch which means we can postpone adding microtransactions and things like that in the game and on top of that if they're not sure if the game is going to be successful they will have to do everything in their power to make sure that the game is actually a good game a game that the community will actually appreciate whereas if they know okay we already have you know 750,000 pre-orders and the game is still two months away from coming out then they know well okay we at least have this many sales if it stops here like then we're good so it, it kind of this is where the tinfoil hat comes in play where it's a little bit of a conspiracy where you can say okay well they might actually be less incentivized to make a great game because they already know how many people are going to buy the game on launch weekend so you might be saying okay if you're right let's just assume that they would potentially get lazy if they know the game will be successful regardless and they will also likely implement microtransactions faster the more people pre-order the game what about those perks that you miss out on when you don't pre-order like the gun skin or the double xp or whatever they're giving you for free just for pre-ordering and i'm here to tell you that you are not missing anything you are not going to miss out on whatever the skin is or whatever the camo is or whatever the double xp is you think it's a big deal because it's something that you're getting for free but in actuality you're probably not going to use that gun camo and that skin is not going to be cool to you because everybody else has it and that double xp is not going to be that huge of a deal anyway because there are tons of other ways to earn double xp for free so in my opinion and the reason that i haven't pre-ordered yet me holding on to my money and waiting to see what activision does with the game is a more beneficial perk to me than an hour of double xp or a, a flashy blue skin that everybody else is going to have in the game it's more valuable to me to know that they don't have my money yet i can choose to not buy this game that to me is way more powerful and if everybody did that it would actually send a signal to activision to say hey you better make this game right because we're not giving you our money until we see the game on launch day now there's one final piece of the puzzle right there's one final thing and that's beta access everybody probably pre-ordered the, the the game this past weekend uh because they wanted to play the beta and the beta is actually one of those tools that they use to get you to pre-order and it's i admit it's a pretty good tool because you want to play the game right now you don't want to wait for launch day if you could play it right now that's a really good incentive to get you to play especially if you want to make content or stream because you want to be the first person to upload content for the game or stream the game on twitch or whatever the case is because it will really help your analytics but i'm also here to tell you that it's incredibly easy to get beta codes without pre-ordering i did not pre-order the game and i was able to play the 2v2 alpha and i was able to play both weekends even though I, I didn't play one weekend because I wasn't home, but I had the ability to play throughout the closed beta and throughout the pre, uh, the 2v2 alpha. And really what the beta is, is a, a marketing tool. And again, it's to get you to pre-order the game. Um, and of course they are collecting community feedback and they're collecting data on the spawn system and everything like that. And it truly is a beta. They really are using it as a way to test to see is the game going to work on launch weekend with all of the player interaction and organic user user uh, interaction with the the maps and the guns and everything like that like is anything broken is the is, are any of the maps broken the guns attachments what's not working um you know things that they can't figure out with their fine tooth comb going through the code on their own they need thousands of people to test it just to see so of course the beta is actually a beta um but it again it really is just a marketing tool and you don't need to pre-order the game to get access to the beta up all you had to do was go on twitter and type in hashtag like modern warfare beta or whatever the case is on twitter and search by the most recent and you will have seen tons of people doing giveaways or literally just posting screenshots of beta codes because they just got extra and they just 
here you go who cares like it's not they're not gonna sell it for anything because it's not really worth anything because it's only available for a couple of days anyway so people were giving them out for free in the, by the hundreds like there were hundreds of thousands of free beta codes that you could have gotten without proving the game that's what I did I didn't have to pre-order and I still got that perk of playing the beta as much as I wanted and I still have the ability of not buying the game on launch day whereas if you pre-order the game you are basically already committing to purchasing that game which is telling activision how successful their game is going to be at launch which could potentially cause them to not invest as heavily in making the game better because they already know how many people are going to give them money regardless of if it's good or not and that is causing the degradation of the call of duty franchise Call of Duty needs to be forced to do well, otherwise they're going to keep releasing dog shit, and that's what we've seen for the last couple of years. I, this might be a controversial opinion, but I did not like Black Ops 4, I did not like World War 2, I did not like, uh, what was it, In, uh, Infinite Warfare? I always forget that game even exists, it's so bad. It's trash. These games were absolute trash. They were garbage. Black Ops 3 was okay, um, Advanced Warfare was not very good either, Ghosts was not very good either, Call of Duty has been releasing garbage for a very long time, and if they know, based on pre-orders, that they're going to sell a million copies just based on pre-orders alone, they already know how much money they're going to be making. So I recommend moving forward when you're considering pre-ordering Call of Duty, Modern Warfare or any other AAA title, I, I strongly uh, insist that you think twice because the pre the pre-orders in masses, right? You may think, oh, my pre-order doesn't matter. Everybody else is still going to do it. If everybody has that mindset, no one's going to do it. Just think, you're voting with your money, right? Don't give them your money before you see the game is actually good. And that's why I haven't pre-ordered Modern Warfare and why you shouldn't either. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the best and easiest and fastest and free way to support me and my channel is by subscribing, clicking the bell, clicking that like button, following me on all of my social media links in the description below. You can join my Discord and talk to me, answer, uh, ask questions and post pictures of memes. And I also go live on Twitch, usually two to three times every week, typically Monday, Tuesday, and one random day. Uh, and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace